frustrating in a little way because I think we, we did well in, in a lot of aspects of the game. I think we controlled it. Um, our response after half time was excellent. I asked them, I said, I want a goal in the first five minutes, and they delivered. But then a mental slip up at the other end, we concede again, and that hard work is almost to, to nothing because then we're on the back foot again. Um, we can be a little bit more clinical in the final third. We need to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we need the, a little bit more desire to want to get on the end of those crosses, wanted to get on the end of the end of the through balls. Um, but but the one big thing um, that we can take away is that my team are not quitters. They're not going to fall down. They're going to fight to the bitter end. And I think tonight, a few decision-making uh, aspects of the game we, we, we slipped up a little on. And, um, and the fitness towards the end, I think we just got gassed. And Nashville took advantage of that. And credit to them. They, they played really well. And... Um, you know, but lots to build on a lot of positives. Um, you know, some players did, did very, very well tonight. So it's, you know, like I said, a lot, a lot to build on, a lot to grow from. And let's not forget, we've only been together a week. So these things take time. These things, um, you know, it's a process. And that's what I relate to the girls. Like, don't panic. Yes, we want to win. Remember this feeling. Um, and just, just build from it. You know, we played the 4-3-3 tonight. I think we, the, the back four actually did pretty well containing um, their, their star striker for the, for the most part of the game. Um, our shape was, was good in areas. We were narrow and compact. Um, we were able to, to combine through midfield, um, but I want more of it. We need more urgency in that midfield. We need the players to want to get on the ball more. I say to the girls, like, it offends me when players don't want to want the ball because it's like that's the whole point of the game. I want you to get on it. I want you to express yourself fully. Um, and then, you know, we did build into those wide areas well. We just weren't at times able to get up the field and support. So those are things that I think we can work on moving forward into the, into the next games. How can we support that front three so that when the ball gets up there, we've got combinations and, and players to build off. Um, but no, we did. We passed the ball well. I think we maintained possession well in certain areas. Um, we just, we just got to finish a game out. And, and when we do respond well, we've got to keep it. Of course. So speaking of, speaking of two of the players in the back, they combined for the first goal off of the set piece. Tell Billy me about, and Angela. Yeah, yeah. tell me about uh, yeah. that finish off the set piece, the first goal of the yeah. season, first coach of your head coaching career here at yeah. CFC. Yeah, we did set pieces yesterday. We did those type of those type of things, and Billy's got a phenomenal delivery with that left foot. It's almost a wand. Wand of a left foot. Um, she's got great whip and great pace. Um, and Angela, as you've seen tonight, she's a very aggressive defender. She's good in the air. She's powerful. She's not the biggest, but she makes up for it with reading the game. She knows her distances really well, and she's very very, very strong in, in 1v1 situations and I think that showed tonight she deserved the goal um, and I thought thought both players did really well and not just them there are, there are other players in the team that I thought really stood out um, you know so it's it's an exciting group and and like I said I can't fault the effort or the or the you know the desire to wanting to, to do better so there are lots to build upon of course so what's the message to the team right now at the end of the game and going into this week in training well, as you can imagine, they're pretty disappointed. No one likes to, to lose a game 4-1. But again, it's remembering the good things that we did. And we contained Nashville for large periods of the game. Um, we scored a goal, which last year when we played them, we, we lost a lot more and we didn't score a goal. So there is a lot of improvement. Um, and again, it's just about remembering, helping the girls to remember why we're here and what the mission is. And that's to give back to the community and put on a good show of soccer. And I think we did that for the fans tonight. And also, just a point, like the fact that we had a thousand, over a thousand fans in our first game, that is huge. And I'm really grateful. And I love, love the fans of this club. And I think, you know, I've said it before, that's the reason why all of us want to come back and want to be a part of it. Um, so, lots to build on. Um, I've reassured them that we're going to be good because you all have the right mindsets, you all have the right professionalism. Um, and we're going to build from it. And we are going to be good. We are going to be okay. Do you have the academy players in the huddle? What's your message to them after the game? And what do you think the players' message to them? Yeah, it's it's if we can, you can, and we want that that bridge from the academy to the first team to be ever present and and very very open and easy for them to see. Um, it's important for our academy girls to get the experience to be around um, the type of players that we have because they've obviously played at, at, at very high levels, and it's good for the girls to kind of ask them questions and get to know get to know them and to to learn from them as best they can and. The opportunities for the academy girls are there. We are going to use them this year. We want them to get that experience of playing in this wonderful stadium, in this wonderful atmosphere. Um, and so we, we, as a club, that's what we, we stand upon, is, is giving our academy girls the chance. And then that's what will draw more young players to us, is the fact that there is a pathway and opportunity to, to get to the high ranks of, of, of women's soccer in this country. Sure. And is there anything that we didn't talk about that you think it's important to add, whether that's about the atmosphere, on the pitch, just anything uh, you think it's important to add for the chat to know? 
just that they were, we're really thankful and um when I'm when we were recruiting, you know, we always talk about about the fans and the chat hooligans and what it means to be a part of this club and that we're a club that serves and wants to give back. And I think tonight the chat hooligans and the rest of the fans came out in full swing and really put on a wonderful atmosphere. Um, that's the most I've ever seen at a, at a women's game here at Chattanooga, and that's that's absolutely amazing. I want to build on that. So I want more fans to come. Bring your friends. Bring your whoever it may be. Bring everybody because. You guys are the they, they are the twelfth the twelfth player for us on the field, and that support really really helps us and gives us that energy to want to go on and be and be great in the game. So thank you for for your support. It's it's huge, and we appreciate it.